radio repeaters. Wonderful devices for keeping us ham radio enthusiasts in touch with each other. And whilst these repeaters are not as busy as they once were, they are still very useful tools whether they be analogue or digital, particularly when we're operating as portable stations on foot or moving inside a vehicle. Now, the problem that I often encounter is that I cannot sometimes access my local repeater when I'm relatively close to my home. Living on the edge of a valley, when I'm at the foot of the valley, it isn't possible to get into my local repeater. However, I can still access my home base station easily, which in turn can access the repeater through my roof antenna. So I found a solution that will fix my problem and will ensure that if I need to, I can access my repeater wherever I am in the world. A disclaimer here, the following demonstration is for information only as the law varies from country to country with regard to the operation of automatic transmitters. So please check in your country of origin if it is illegal for you to set this up and operate a repeater system such as this one before you attempt operation of one. The following test transmission was monitored whilst under operation at all times. Right, I'm going to show this using the inexpensive UV5R radio, but the, the same principle applies for any other uh, radio that you have lying around. You just have to get the suitable cables. Anyway, for this uh, particular application, you'll need a 3.5mm to 2.5mm lead, as I've just shown. Now, if you haven't got a lead such as that, you can all, always use an adapter, which will take a 3.5mm socket to a 2.5mm plug, which will enable you to plug that into the speaker output of the, the radio that you've chosen. Now, some of the other other um, examples I've seen on YouTube um, haven't shown a UV5R and probably for a very good reason because there is a problem in using one unless you add another key item which I shall show you shortly and that item uh, will prevent the, a known problem that you get with a UV5R uh, which I'll explain. So anyway the other cable that you'll need to connect to the microphone input on the UV5R is just a standard 3.5mm jack plug. Now the problem with the UV5R is this, to key the externally key the radio it shorts out the two ground connection points on both of the plugs. Now this in and, in and of itself isn't a problem as far as the radio is concerned but when you come to plug your two plugs into your sound card of your computer those will be shorted out and you'll get this situation where the radio keys up there as you can see on the radio I'm simply shorting out these connections. Now to make this internet uh, connected radio system work we're going to need to plug it into a sound card and as you can see here these connection points within the sound card are common and so it will actually key the radio up which of course is of no use. So what you need is this and this is an audio isolation transformer that you connect in line on the uh, speaker side of the radio. Now this will ensure that there is no physical connection to ground between those two pins and it will also ensure that no ground loops exist between the two devices causing you unwanted buzzes and hums which you may well have heard on transmissions or audio equipment when you had it connected in the past. So for a very inexpensive price you get the unit here and it comes supplied with the three and a half mil lead as well so if you haven't already got that you actually get those two in the box with this so it's very good value and very very simple to connect up. So you basically connect that input there which is the uh, the microphone input into the side of the radio and you connect the the input of the of that into the output of the computer and then the one above it which is the speaker output of the radio you then connect into the mic or the line input of your laptop and you can probably see where we're going with this now for the test I actually connected up an attenuator so I didn't cause any interference locally uh, to, but I needed just to monitor the output of the radio anyway so there we go plug those in and um, you need to then set up Zello on the machine you can download this freely from the website and there's a couple of things you need to do is to go and check your audio interfaces are right for playback and record and to check the levels are correct and, and present just by doing a few test transmissions and then you need to go into the Vox setting and switch that on and adjust the sliders so it's suitable for the radio. Do a few test transmissions and you can play around with the delay and everything until you get it set up. Now you'll need to set up two accounts. I set up a, a repeater account and a personal account. So as soon as you've got it enabled, switch it on and lock the padlock and uh, do, a, do some test transmissions. Now after about five minutes of testing I managed to find a level that was suitable and I managed to get it to trigger the radio into transmit when I keyed up on the phone. Right so we got Zeno on the phone, 
this is connected up to the laptop and this would be my radio I take out when we were out and about so if we wanted to speak through to the repeater we would use this and we would just transmit G7LNK test and there we go it's transmitting on that radio if you have a bit too much uh, volume on the radio sometimes the minimum setting on some of the radios might be too high for the mic input on the laptop is run one of these inline uh, volume uh, adjusters here uh, in line with the the audio output going into the computer because it's fine on a line input but sometimes a mic input might be overdriven by the even the minimum setting on the radio so i'll put links to these cables and these bits and bobs in the description right so i've got this radio on the output of the repeater and i'm going to use the phone to access the repeater all right here we go so I've got a key up on here and then it should come out of here. There'll be a bit of a delay. G7 LNK checking access. There we go. And we got the pips that time. That worked. And the nice thing, if you leave the app just running on your phone, any uh, any call will just come through on your phone automatically. So even when it's minimised, so. You'll uh, if you if you're trying to watch for someone on the repeater, you'll you'll hear it no matter what you're doing. So uh, that's really really cool. You'll of course hear other conversations that come up on the repeater as well. Anyway, but um, yeah, I mean, I thought thought some of you might find this useful. You can of course there are a number of configurations you can have this in. You can have the radio as a repeater station, so you can use another radio to access this radio through Zello. Uh, there are a number of ways of doing this, but um, I thought I would just highlight this particular usage case because it's one that I think I, I might use occasionally from time to time when I'm out walking and, uh, and I lose I lose contact with the repeater and uh, I want to still still use the repeater and uh, I can do that with my phone just for fun. So I hope you found that interesting and you can perhaps implement that uh, uh, for a case use for your radio club or for your uh, your own personal use as I, as I will do here. Right, thanks ever so much for watching. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button. And if you're not a member of the channel, please subscribe. It really, really helps me. And it tells the algorithm that more people are interested in the videos that I'm making. So if you can, that'd be great. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.